the Tattersalls Mayor's Only Novices Chase Final. The final of the The starters calling them in, so it's time to join Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, they're under orders. Uh, he's probably going to ask him to get off the tape now. Get back off the gate. Come on. That's it. That away. And Reba Bell is the first to show as they race towards the first of the 15 fences this time. Takova is second. Camabell a little bit slowly away. And it's Reba Bell from Tecova as they come to the first. Maggie's Girl is next, an evening song on the outside, and behind them comes Silver Snow. And then Silent Surrender and Kelly's Maid as they jump the first. And there are fallers, the Gwiller Up. Gwiller Up is a fall up. Evening song on the outside. Reba Bell right up there with them is Maggie's Girl. And then on the inside, Tecova, the wind making it really difficult for them. It's blowing gale force over the far side there. All safely over that, although Rilk made a mistake in rear. And now they're coming to the first of the ditches. Gwiller up uh, still on the floor, I'm afraid. Evening Song landed there with Maggie's Girl. Evening Song, the leader, Maggie's Girl, just in behind them, uh, Reba Bell, and on the inside is Kelly's Maid, who's up there with Takova, but it's Evening Song, the leader. Evening Song, with moving up to join him above par. Evening song and above par now, these two disputing it. Camabell is up with them too, and so is Silver Snow, and just in behind them, Woodland View, the favorite. Reva Bell has lost a little bit of ground. Rilk jumped that in the rear. They're coming down to a ditch now. Evening song over on the far rail lands in the lead. Evening Song from above par in second and Silver Snow and then comes Camera Bell and behind them Maggie's Girl and Woodland View and then Tecova and Kelly's Maid and Silent Surrender. The fence that'll be the last on the next circuit. Evening Song from Silver Snow and Maggie's Girl and above par and very little between them. Then comes Camera Bell just in behind him, and then Rebo Bell, and then Woodland View, and on the far side, Takova. Behind Takova is Donna Farina, Silent Surrender, and then Kelly's Maid as they come down to the only national fence now this time, the water. Evening Song, the leader, lands in the lead from Maggie's Girl in second. Cover above par is third. Then on the inside, Takova with Silver Snow and Camera Bell, and Kelly's Maid going well on the inside. Donna Farina and Silent Surrender, and then comes Rebo Bell, and last and tailed off last is Rilk. Mark Dwar is still on the course. Mark Dwar, where he fell previously. The rider due to ride the Elia in the big one tomorrow. He's just been stretched off, Mark. And now they come down. The field comes down to the next with Evening Song, the leader. From Maggie's Girl and Silver Snow and above par. And Kelly's made improving on the inside with Takova. Just in behind them, Woodland View. And the Evening Song's gone there. Evening Song is out of it, made a very bad mistake and lost his pilot. Takova going on on the inside of Maggie's Girl. Kelly's made going well in third. Then comes Donna Farina and Silent Surrender and Silver Snow. Then above par and then Woodland View, who's still well in contention. Quite a gap then to River Bell and then uh, Camera Bell and Brilk is the back marker. They race now towards the last ditch on the far side. The second last ditch it is in the race. Takova and Maggie's girl, and Takova has gone there. Takova has gone, and there Maggie's girl is left in the lead. Mag Maggie's girl in the lead. Kelly's maid went there as well, and it's Maggie's girl from Silent Surrender. In third place is above par, then quite a gap to Silver Snow. Woodland View is making quite significant progress now in behind the three leaders as they come down to the next. And Maggie's Girl with the advantage from Silent Surrender in second, above par is third. Woodland View and Silver Snow comes next, and then Rebo Bell. 
Maggie's Girl landed in the lead from Silent Surrender. Bad mistake there by Repo Bell. Coming to the final ditch now. Maggie's Girl and Silent Surrender being chased by Woodland View and above par and Silver Snow. It was Maggie's Girl and Silent Surrender together as they come down towards the second last in this Tattersall's Mayor's Only Novices Chase. And it's Silent Surrender on the near side. On the, he lands in the lead from Maggie's Girl. Makes a mistake in second, third, above par. Four Woodland View still making ground. Coming to the final fence now. And as they do so, it's still Silent Surrender with the advantage from Maggie's Girl. Silent Surrender lands clear. Maggie's Girl jumps in second, above par. Third, Woodland View four. Racing into the closing stages. Silent Surrender. Going away now under Martin Canaan to win this very easily indeed. It's Silent Surrender as they race up towards the line. It's going to be very close but for second between Above Par and Maggie's Girl. Above Par getting the better of Maggie's Girl as they come to the line. Above Par is second and Maggie's Girl is third. And four is Woodland View. And behind them came Donna Farina and Silver Snow. And then came Reba Bell. Behind Reba Bell was Camabelle. And so the result of the Tattersall's Mayor's Only Novices Chase. First number 10, Silent Surrender. Owned by Mrs. E.R. Smith, trained by Peter Jones and written by Martin Canan. Second was number four, above par, owned by Mrs. M.C. Peel and Mrs. Fulk Warwin, trained by Nick Gaisley and written by Andrew Adams. And third was number eight, Maggie's Girl, owned by Mrs. M.J. Whiteman and Mr. Dennis Smith, trained by Dennis Smith and written by Chris Grant. And fourth was Woodland View, also trained by Peter Jones. What a specialist he is in this race. He won it last year with Slip Along, and this time he's provided both the first and the fourth. The winner, Silent Surrender, by nearly a hand out of Lost in Silence. The first uh, winner of the meeting for Martin Canan and the 20 to 1 winner of this Tantasel's Mayor's Only Novices Chase Final. Above par.